Okay, so back working on the Mustang today. Uh, what I'm going to be doing this morning is installing this leaf spring drop kit. It's not really a drop kit, but I'm going to be lowering the, the leaf spring on the passenger side of the car to try and correct the issue with the, the twist in the body of the car. Now, I've showed you before that this car is, is twisted. It's higher on the passenger side than the driver's side. And at first I thought it might have just been in the in the sheet metal, but when we test fit these new quarter panels, it's the car is still crooked. And I made some measurements and I've discovered that you know the passenger side is higher than the driver's side. And I also have discovered that I can correct that by lowering the suspension, lowering, dropping the leaf spring on the passenger side about an inch and an eighth, an inch and a sixteenth, and that pretty much uh, levels things out. So the way I'm going to do that is with this. This is a, uh, a U-bolt, and we'll go into the car and I'll show you, that attaches your leaf spring to the rear axle. And this is a, a longer U-bolt. It's like two inches longer than the stock U-bolt, uh, which allows you to, the U-bolt goes over the rear axle, you know, like this and your leaf spring comes under the rear axle and then there's a plate that goes around the U-bolt. There's another U-bolt that goes on the, on the other side and that clamps the spring to the axle. So if you want to lower the car, you know, the, the axle doesn't move because it's sitting on the tires, but if you lower that leaf spring, the whole car goes down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to drop that leaf spring and lower the passenger side of the car. So now you need some kind of a filler to go in between the leaf spring and the, and the back or the bottom of the axle. So what I did was I just I welded up this little block. It's kind of ugly, uh, the welding, but nevertheless, it's gonna work. It's the right thickness. I put a hole in the bottom of it to match the hole um, in the bottom of the, the plate that holds the leaf spring to the, to the uh, axle. The plate has a little post on the top, which I also added on. I don't know if you can see that. I'll give you a close up of this and a hole in the bottom. So I got this thing all painted up. So let me get the old leaf springs, I mean the old U-bolts out and we'll put in the new ones along with the spacer block see how low the car sits, make sure it's uh, level. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut these U-bolts uh, because they're really long and I don't want them hanging down that low. So the first thing is to take out the stock U-bolt. So here's a look under the car. You can see I got the, uh, the here's the stock set up. This, these are your two stock U-bolts, one on either side of the spring. The spring is what controls the height of the car because it's connected at either end to the car. The axle height can't change because the axle sits on the wheel that sits on the ground. And there's a plate underneath these two U-bolts that clamp the spring to this uh, perch on the axle. And then just for illustration, I put the new U-bolt, the you know, the extended uh, you bolt next to it. You can see the threads on this thing are much deeper so you can lower this plate a lot which drops the spring and lowers the back of the car. And then of course you need something to go in between the spring, the top of the spring and the bottom of the perch on the axle. So that's what I made the spacer block for. So I put a jack underneath the uh, plate because I'm going to take these nuts off to release the U-bolts, the old U-bolts, and if you do that, the car would fall on the ground if you don't have something under to support it, because really the whole, all the weight of your car is sitting on those four uh, nuts. So let's get the nuts off and get the old U-bolts out. So here is a comparison of the two U-bolts, the stock and the replacement uh, lowering U-bolt. You can see the difference in the length in the threaded part. Alright, so now that the U-bolts are out, we can use the jack to lower the leaf spring safely. So watch uh, right in here. And I will, I will 
drop the spring. There you go. With the jack. You can hear that creaking. That's the bushings that I put in the spring. So put those urethane bushings in there. And I'm actually thinking I might take those out and put in rubber because it makes a lot of noise. All right. So now you can see that there's a large gap between the spring and the perch on the axle and you should be able to see also whoops, that there is a little pin here and that pin goes into a hole you can't see it but I can feel it with my finger just knock the light down so the filler piece that I made up also has a hole in the bottom and a pin on the top so now I put that spacer block in here now I can reattach the, uh, the handle on the jack and jack the spring back up against the axle. And sometimes a little pin doesn't want to go in the hole. You got to shake it around or something. It's kind of hard to do holding the camera. So I'm going to put the camera down and I'll just jiggle this thing around and get the pin to go back in the hole. There it is. Now you can see I have the spacer in place between the spring and the perch on the axle. So now I need to drop in the longer U-bolts. And I actually like these, they actually fit over the axle better. And they just sort of, they drop right into place. The stock ones, I would have to, I'd have to hammer those things on. So what I want to do now, you can see that the, extra thread hangs pretty low below those uh, this this bracket here so I want to cut that off I don't want all that junk hanging down underneath the car so I'll just mark the location on here uh, where I want to cut it you know I'll leave about a half of an inch past the end of a nut and then I'll cut both of the u-bolts uh, and then we'll put them back in but the first thing I'm gonna do is I uh, just put the nuts on and make sure that the car is sitting at the right height. And I'll cut those things off. I'll touch up, paint the axle here while I have the U-bolts uh, out again. And the car will be sitting level. Alright, something else that I just noticed uh, comparing the two U-bolts. The replacement one is on the left and the stock one is on the right. The stock U-bolt has a fine thread on it, and the replacement one has a coarse thread. I don't know if you can see that. But the nuts on the stock U-bolt won't go on this replacement U-bolt because it's got a different thread pitch. So make sure that you get the nuts for the replacement U-bolt when you buy the bolt. And you can get them at a hardware store, I'm sure. Luckily, I bought them, so it just saves me a little bit of hassle of having to go find, you know, four of these uh, nuts threaded with the right pitch thread. This is what I'm doing to make sure that the car is now sitting level uh, since I lowered the springs on the, on the passenger side. I'm taking this uh, straight edge with this little level attached to it. Down here on the floor, I have a six-foot level that runs across to both sides of the car, right under the back corner of the rocker panel. I got the tape measure just uh, locked and sitting on top of the level. So the, the measurement here on the tape means nothing because it's just a random height coming out of the tape. But you use the tape on both sides, you don't change the distance that the tape comes out when you move to the other side of the car. So if I just put this straight edge on top of the rocker, hold it until it's level and then read the measurement where the straight edge intersects the tape and then go around to the other side of the car and do the same thing when those two numbers are the same you know, the same height of the rocker from the ground or from a level line on the ground then I know that the car is sitting level so I did that and I got the same number on both sides so I'm satisfied now that the car is sitting level. I'll tighten up those nuts, clean everything up. Uh, with the long U-bolts, cut off the little bit that's sticking out too long. And now I feel confident that I can start 
putting on the, sh the rest of the sheet metal and the tail light panel and getting everything level with the ground and that will be sitting level on the car. Well, that's all for today. Uh, come on back next time and I'll be out in the back of the car doing some more work uh, getting all this sheet metal ready to get put on.